I was always dancing around the house uh, when I was like three years old. And um, my aunt would tell my mother that she should take me to ballet class. So she took me to ballet classes. I guess they were dance classes. And uh, I learned tap dancing in the beginning as well as some ballet. And actually we were supposed to sing while we were tap dancing. And I would open my mouth, but nothing would come out. <laughs> so I don't think singing was my forte, <laughs> but I uh, loved to dance. And so that's really how it started. I think I was about eight and I saw a performance of the Ballet Russe to Coppelia and that really, really inspired me. I thought, I really want to do this. Uh, when I was with, uh, in, in the School of American Ballet, I traveled with the touring division of New York City Ballet and we would dance in uh, the schools in upstate New York. But actually, real professional job was when I came back to Cincinnati and David McLean um, made the company professional and it was wonderful. We traveled, you know, like three weeks at a time from city to city and had some great performances. You know, working with professional scenery, professional costumes, professional people, professional choreographers that were world renowned. We had many world renowned choreographers coming and working with us. And it was that, you know, inspiration that you got from working with them. And of course, they were very good at what they did. So, you know, we learned a great deal. I had a, a bad injury that really stopped me from going on. So the director asked me if I would be a ballet mistress for the company. And he felt that I had the qualifications for that. A ballet mistress has to rehearse the ballets, of course. She has to teach classes. She has to work out the schedules, the rehearsal schedules. She often has to restage ballets that the company is repeating. So, I mean, there's a lot. You're busy all the time. I always felt that I wanted to have a studio of my own because of being able to inspire children and older people to understand how to perform the moves and how to look graceful and, and seeing the results that uh, they get from what I'm telling them. And you know, it's the satisfaction you get from seeing them improve, progress. It's, and it's enjoyable to get feedback from them as well, you know, when they enjoy uh, the class or when they enjoy ballet and they want to keep going. Uh, what makes va ballet so valuable is the focus it takes and the concentration and the discipline uh, that really carries through life. And I've had many people tell me that later went on to do other things. They said dance really helped me in life in general because it was such a discipline and plus it's good physically for your body. It, the exercise keeps you young, I think and the enjoyment too, the enjoyment of moving to music. Uh, it's an all-encompassing art because it's not just about movement, it's about the music, it's about the background, it's about the costume. There is a lot that goes into it. All the arts really are involved. And performing is important for a student because that's the reward for all the hard work. Um, if you never get to perform, I suppose you could dance in your living room for your parents, but it's not the same. Uh, and the reward for a dancer is to be able to make the audience see what they've accomplished and to enjoy it and to get feedback from the audience. So the performing aspect is very important. It, it's sort of the, um, the grapes on the vine that keep them going. <laughs> had uh, dancers who went uh, to the Royal Ballet of New Zealand, to uh, companies in Canada, professional companies, and in um, uh, Poland, and in New York. The foundation that they got here helped them to do what they loved doing. Uh, and they went on and 
succeeded. Will there ever be a day when you don't do this? <laughs> Probably when I fall over. <laughs>